Hello and welcome to Ellen Ruth Soap. I'm Ellen and today I'm making avocado soap. I love avocado soap. It makes a really creamy lather. If you've never tried pureed avocados in your soap, I challenge you to give it a try. I think it's a fabulous finished bar. So there's going to be whole or whole organic avocados <laughs> in this soap. Ah, oh, my tongue gets tied sometimes. And for the fragrance, uh, I was thinking of my husband when I got this fragrance. He loves cilantro. Um, it's avocado cilantro lime. Well, I'm not really picking up the cilantro in this, although it does have, it has a green, I, I can see it, and a little tang of lime in there. I'm not sure. It's just a nice, natural, sort of unisex scent, and it's very light. So anyway, that's going to be the fragrance today, and of course the avocado puree is going to go in there. And normally I use sweet almond oil or hemp oil. Well, I'm going to swap that out for my avocado oil today. We'll go in there. We're just going to go all avocado-y on this, because, <laughs> you know, why not? And um, so, and that will be the avocado puree will be in everything. And also in everything, I'm gonna use my eucalyptus leaf powder because of the color. I just want this to be really sort of, um, just maybe not dark, but earthy looking and just green and foody looking. So the eucalyptus powder will go in everything with the puree. And then I'm gonna split off a little for some green colors. Uh, I have this pine mica from Be Scented, which is a really pretty green. And also, I'm going to use my lime green mojito to kind of represent the avocado and the lime, I guess. I just wanted to pop some greens in there. Um, so that is what's going in. Let me see. Oh, and for the top, I was thinking of the lime, and I like a really salty guacamole, and, you know, margarita has salt. So I'm going to put some salt on the top just because, for me, it kind of sounded, oops, sounded like it went with the whole theme of it. So I'm gonna get everything pulled together and get my hair pulled back and let's come back and puree up some avocados to go in this soap today. All right, I figured I'd bring you along while I prep my avocados to go in my oils here. So this is how I peel an avocado. Um, it's, it makes it really easy and it, this works if they're ripe. If they're not ripe, it's hard to do, but just run the thing around. and the skins just peel off, just like that. So I'm gonna get this all peeled up, both of these, into my little pitcher here. And then what I will do is put a little of my base oils in there to make help you know, loosen it up and make the slurry and then add it all back into the base oils. But I just want to make sure that these are pureed very, very smooth. I don't want any chunkage in my soap. <laughs> so the goal is to just get these really smooth and get them back in the oils. And then we'll go ahead with the dry ingredients which is the kale and clay, the colloidal oats, and my eucalyptus powder is going to go in everything. And then we'll get on to making soap. All right, so now I'm going to add some oils in here from my base oils and get this all slurried up. All right, there we go. It's nice and smooth and creamy. So good. And unfortunately, it's not going to stay this lovely green color. Um, when it reacts with the lye, it just turns to a beige color. I wish it stayed that color, but that's why I'm using the micas to get some green back to represent this. All right, time for our additives. So in goes the oil and avocado puree that I made. And again, I do such a steep water discount or liquid discount that I'm not worried about the weight of these too much. It's an approximation. If you're running a very, you know, f wanting to do full water or full liquid volume, um, you'd want to weigh out your avocado puree just to make sure you're not getting too crazy with the volume. But I do such a steep discount that I don't have to worry about that. All right, and in with the dry. Here's the colloidal oats two tablespoons, and kale and clay, two tablespoons. I'm gonna get this blended up and we'll come back and get making soap. 
Oh yeah, I almost forgot my eucalyptus powder. I want that in everything because I just love it and it's green and just kind of goes along with it. So that's going in. ready to move forward and um, I am you know anxious to see how this fragrance behaves the reviews say it did cause some mild ricing so we will see got my stick blender in there and hopefully we can take care of that without any problems so I'm, I'm not going to use any titanium dioxide in the uncolored portion I'm just gonna let it do its natural thing because you know I just want it to be kind a little bit earthy a little bit foody and I think that's a beautiful color it's probably not going to stay that way but anyway so no TD in this oh look at that color morph isn't that cool all right I'm just stirring and pulsing for emulsion and now we'll get our colors going All right, here we go with the fragrance. Oh boy. I'm always anxious when uh, things do not have a great, re you know, when they have any kind of issues, it makes you be cautious. So that's not a bad thing. But let's see, I'm gonna just, yep. I can see it a little bit. Definitely has a little ricing. Not bad though. Oh look, it's smoothed out already. It didn't even clump up. That is not bad at all. So I'm going to go ahead and pull these stick. You can see it on top here. That's ricing if you can see that. But I think it just blends right out. Not bad. But I am going to run the stick blender through these. Because, you know, no chunks allowed.
All right, it's the next day. And there is this awesome avocado and lime. It smells fantastic. I did come in early this morning and steam the top. Look how glossy that is. And it's dry to the touch. It looks wet, but it's dry. So I cannot wait to get in here and see what's going on the inside. All right, I'm back to cut with my new toy. <laughs> so tickled with this bad boy. Um, and I will leave a link down for Alexander, his Instagram page, this is Goodspeed Metal Soap Cutter Shop. Um, and I'll leave a link down below for his Instagram and his Etsy page. Just wonderful, wonderful, it's so sturdy. So let me show you how I'm gonna cut this because it has the salt on top and I don't want drag marks, so I'm gonna lay it with the salt side down and get it lined up here, and that's how I'm gonna cut. takes a little bit of muscle. Oh, these are cool. You know what? That actually looks like an avocado, doesn't it? Like the pit and this outside. So that's the light green. There's the dark green. And that is the uncolored portion with just uh, the eucalyptus powder and the additives. But oh man, these are cool. Really like natural looking. I'm pretty tickled. I think they really do evoke like an avocado vibe, don't they? So cool. And that it was interesting as I was blending the um, the uncolored portion, I stick blended. I guess I must have blended it a little longer than the others because the uncolored portion got really thick. Uh, so when I poured it, they were different thicknesses, and that's why it's got a little, not as swirly, but I, I like it. It's kind of very unisex, very cool. Now you can see the little demarcation around there, so the um, uncolored is probably going to cure out to be that color, if you can pick that up. There's just a little bit of a color difference ring. So we'll probably have a little bit of discoloration in there, but uh, yeah, I'm loving these. And like I said, avocado puree lathers really creamy. It's nice. Give it a try if you never have. I think you'll like it.